Welcome everyone. Today I will tell you how to install Windows XP in your system or laptop using USB drive. In this procedure you have to minimum 2 GB or maximum USB. You must have this software. After downloading this software, the download link for the software I have already placed in the description of this video after downloading this just double click and you have to just double click on exe file this one and it is asking for installation directory I will recommend to remain this as sam and click on install button ok after installing this just close this one and you have to go to your stall directory where you have stalled this setup ok I will show you my directory I am going with this one where here I have stalled my setup ok just go to inside the folder pe 2 usb and uh, right click on it and run as my administrator click yes okay here is my Kingston data traveler USB device which is approximately 4 GB gigabyte okay after checking this one in label disk format you have to check here quick format and enable LBF at 16 and drive level if you wish to remain the same and you can type your own just click on start button it is asking to continue click yes button you are about to repartition click yes ok format has been successfully done click ok and now you can close this win this small window just click close and you may close this too now you have to go to my computer and remember your USB drive letter mine is N your might be different than this one it might be H or I J K or something else mine is N I'm remembering this one ok minimize this and you have to go to the com uh, CMD command prompt mode ok just run as administrator click yes ok here it is you have to just type cd dot dot enter again cd dot dot enter you have to back up to the drive c ok where i have installed my com call I type cd space and use tab button from your keyboard to find the com call ok here is tab slash and again use tab and you can find boots act just click on enter oh, ok just click enter from your keyboard and now you have to type boot sect space slash nt52 space drive letter mine is n I have typed n your might be different you can type J, K, L, M, N, whatever you have. You have. Okay. After doing typing this, just click. Just do the. Just close this one. It doesn't matter. Improving the color scheme. Okay. You have to now just enter button from your keyboard, and it will give you successfully update FAT file system boot code boot code was successfully updated on all target volume if you will find here in any kind of error it means you did not done the previous steps well you may recheck the previous steps ok now you have to type cd dot dot enter and again type cd space and use tab button 
to go to usb underscore prep prep at just click enter from you just press the enter button from your keyboard and you have to again type usb sorry it is usb underscore prep it okay uh, type this I uh, this words again okay after typing these words just enter press enter button from your keyboard okay press any key to continue press any key okay here you have to do the following step I'll show you now you have to insert a Windows XP disk in your DVD or CD-ROM as I have already inserted Windows XP Subspectry CD through ISO okay uh, after inserting the CD into the your uh, drive just type one from your keyboard okay after this just press enter it will ask the source windows setup folder and i will select my this one drive i is my windows xp setup suspect free okay i click on ok button here you can see drive i now uh, the se second step is change virtual drive virtual temporarily drive currently t if currently t is assigned in your system as i can check h i j k l m n there's no t available in my computer so i'll remain t as default if you have currently assigned t as a directory or as a drive you may change this letter by doing this one type 2 and type the drive name i will type as t because t is not currently assigned okay now you have to do the step 3 just type 3 and press enter button from your keyboard and it is asking enter target usb drive letter as i have told you my is n here i can show you this is my n drive letter i will go for n and enter you might be different okay here you can see the n okay now step 4 just type 4 and press enter from your keyboard okay it is processing wait until it complete and it will give okay proceed with format yes or no type y and enter press enter button wait until it will ask the next step okay it is asking for press any key to continue okay just press any key from your keyboard to continue setup is copying the file to your directory wait until it completes it will take couple of seconds or minutes to complete you have to wait until it will ask for the next step you do not need to close this just wait and watch okay making of local source folder press any key to continue press any key to continue from your keyboard okay it is copying just wait and watch
okay copy temporary draft to your 15 minute yes click yes to continue and wait until it completes the copy you have to wait about 10 or 15 minutes okay everyone the 15 minutes have been completed I have spent my 15 minutes and after receiving this option you have to just click on yes button okay wait until it will ask for something okay it is asking for would you like to unmount the virtual drive click yes button to complete okay now you have to press any key to continue and and process again press any key to continue okay you have done the setup has been successfully completed now you have to do the one step that uh, here is USB XPCD okay you have to now just go to your boot option of setup and use the USB HDD as your primary boot and then just put the uh, your USB and start the installation and you have to run the first and I will show the image of that okay after booting this I will show you the image you have to just select first option text mod setup and enter it after restarting this after the setup finished and restart and comes to this screen again then you have to select second option second GUI mod setup and continue setup with start of windows but remember one thing you have to delete all your partition and make a single partition during this installation after installation you may create more partition through using software partition ma manager or magic partitions okay see you bye bye